Hey guys, and today, should I get a laptop or a desktop? In this video, as you might have already guessed, I'm going to be telling you some of the pros and some of the cons of getting a laptop or a PC. Number one, if you get a laptop, then the most likely reason you'll get that is because you're moving about a lot, easily accessible. If you are going to work every day, and you need something to do all of your work on then you need a laptop to bring it in to and from work however if you're working home on a self-sustained business or anything like that I'm sure if you're working from home a lot then uh, the simplest solution would be to have a desktop whereas if you're going to school, college, university and you need to be taking down notes on laptop Number two, next up, I'm going to be talking about peripherals and the space on your desk. If you haven't got enough space on your desk to have a monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, maybe even a printer, scanner, I don't know, whatever peripherals you have. If there's not enough space on your desk, then there's not really a point getting a desktop because then, well, that's even if you have a desk. If you don't have a desk, then there's no point getting a desktop. If you don't have a desk, or if there's not enough space on your desk, then you need a laptop to uh, work with, um, so that you can put it on your lap, on the sofa, or anything like that. But, if you do have um, enough space, I would definitely recommend a PC, as long as um, it fits the standards that you want. Number three. Next up, I'm going to be talking about your budget. If you've got quite a high budget from one grand up, then um, I'm sure you can choose anything from an Ultrabook, uh, which is a really high-powered laptop, it, for those of you that don't know, um, or a gaming PC, which has really good specs, so you can do whatever you want on it. Um, if you want to just look... If you just want your laptop to look nice um, and you have a lot of Apple products, then you could get a MacBook or an uh, Apple Mac, so the main computer, or a Mac Mini. But then if you've got a lower budget, say £400, £500, pounds, then you're going to have to be looking at um, some of the lower laptops or PCs. So if you've got a budget around 400 to 500 pounds, then I'm sure a PC would do you just fine as long as it, um, your desk space and everything and the reason you want it um, meets the requirements, then I'm sure you can um, get a 400 to 500 pound PC and uh, it will do you just fine. Just make sure to look it all up first and... Um, try to avoid the mainstream companies because no matter how like good the specs are they're often overpriced for the uh, specs that they have and you're basically just buying it for the brand however laptops can go as low as 200 250 pounds if you want to um if you want a cheap one um some of them they're perfectly fine the stats aren't very good but they can run completely fine like um, Chromebooks if you're not looking for Microsoft then you can get a Chromebook or you can get um, a decent laptop for 250 which has all right stats and then you go up to 400 and that has a uh, pretty decent stats or specs as long as you look into it and then when you go up to 500 you can get some uh, really nice looking ones that have uh, all good features and um, you're looking for around hopefully more than 4 gigabyte of RAM like aim for higher but definitely no less than uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM or your laptop won't run quickly last but not least um, we're gonna have laptops and I'm going to be mainly talking about these because they um, the battery life. So if you do want to get a laptop because you want to be moving around the house, then you're definitely going to need a laptop 
with a good battery life because if it only lasts for two hours and it takes you four hours to charge you can't be moving around the home as you wished anyway you'll just be sitting on the sofa with it plugged in so if you can't find a decent one for your price range that has a good battery life then um, the best thing to do would be to get a PC because overall they run a lot better um, but if you can't do that, then definitely look into it. Make sure you've seen all the reviews. Um, check the person that's selling it to you. Make sure that he's not a scammer. And as long as you stick to all these rules and, you, um, and you've listened to the rest of the video and you know what's, uh, what you need, a laptop or a PC, um, look up some of the specs, go on the forums and I'm sure you can find yourself a lovely laptop or PC for the price range you want.